Boy, it was... I know it's been a minute. Actually, it's been three months, but you know what I mean. Since I last uploaded. And perfect explanation for that. I simply do not find any joy in uploading as I used to anymore. COD is dead. Unless y'all want to see Warzone gameplays, which I'm sure only a few of you want to, but I am going to upload a few Warzone gameplays, primarily just 30 bombs and a few 20s to see how that goes. But that's pretty much it, folks. COD is dead. I don't find any enjoyment in actually getting gameplays in Modern Warfare, per se, like 60 plus gun streaks. The standards on that game, as we all know, are incredibly low. Incredibly, incredibly low. And Black Ops 4 simply is not, in my case, enjoyable. It's just... It's dead already, sadly. Like Modern Warfare. I don't want to get 70, 80 gun streaks, 90 gun streaks in that game. However, the only game that I will upload from starting now on, and maybe even the possible future, is Black Ops 2. Now yes, this gameplay boils, for those of you who not, do not know, is a new gameplay. It is a flawless 101 gun streak on slums using the German gun. We all know what it is, right? And many of you may be wondering, how am I getting gameplays on Black Ops 2 in current year, especially on multi-team? Well fellows, that answer is quite simple. Black Ops 2 is not filled with hackers anymore. It is actually playable. Yes, there are people that use mod menus, and there, I really understand that there are perfect reasons as to why they use it. In my own mind, I would use a mod menu to simply have anti-quit. Anti-quit basically makes the game that you're playing unquittable. The only way you can leave the game, or in this case, the enemies can leave the game, is through dashing. And that is the only mod I would say, if any of you are playing, or any modders that play Black Ops 2, Particularly any pup stompers that want to get gameplays, and when I say gameplay, I mean an actual 80 plus gun streak, 80, 90s, 100s, triples, and quads. When I say pup stomping, I don't mean a single nuke, a double nuke, a 40, 50 gun streak. That's horrible for this game. You get roasted if you upload a 50 gun streak and you call yourself a pup stomper. And if you're playing multi team, you're gonna get really roasted. But fellas, if you're looking for gameplays, and you are a true pup stomper, and you want to get some 80 plus gun streaks and triples and quads, I recommend use anti-quit. No, it's not. People like to view it as bad, but the vast majority of pup stompers don't, because in reality, if anti-quit was a thing back in the day, we would all be using it. Who doesn't want the whole 10 minute lobby to go on? Who doesn't want these low levels to stay? But fellas, the only way me, Tekka, and pros got this lobby was us playing a few matches of the much fabled and much enjoyed game mode that Vuxu and I really do did love playing and that of course is hardcore particularly hardcore domination these people that you, and you've seen the gameplay which the vast majority of them are low levels are new to the game which is weird I know in playing Black Ops 3 over the past month, past few weeks, I've noticed a sudden urge, or a sudden surge, not urge, in the population of people who play this game, still, and now. It's mostly new people. They've never touched Black Ops 2 in its prime, 2012 through 2016. They've never played the game. However, I have found a few people, a few people who played the game back in the day still playing this now, particularly in hardcore, just a bunch of neocons, retnecks, which leads me into this, fellas. Hardcore was filled with the most brain dead, unintelligent, and I'm not gonna use the other word, people, who simply do not shoot back. Yes, they know what they know how to play Call of Duty, they know the main basics, the main fundamentals, but they do not truly understand them. If that makes any sense. If you watch this gameplay in its entirety, the people in it, as we all know how multi-team was back in the day, are simply idiots. They are idiots. And this is what makes multi-team and hardcore domination such a great pairing in the current time of Black Ops 2. If you want a perfect multi-team lobby, it's quite simple. Go to Hardcore TDM, go to Hardcore Dom. Primarily TDM since there's more people playing Hardcore TDM than Dom itself. Invite those people and play a few games in Hardcore TDM. Invite those people into a multi-team lobby. 
I guarantee you the vast majority of them will join you. I don't know why, but they will. And then there, when you're in the game, you put on the anti-quit, you have a 10-minute game full of idiots. Unless a few of them get brain cells, suddenly transform and grow brain cells on just dashboard, which will just ruin the whole game. And you'll have to face off against five people instead of nine people or six people. But truly, fellas, Black Ops 2 Hardcore Dom, or just Hardcore in general, was amazing. And this is why I believe if Black Ops 5 is a great game, you know, by some sudden measures, the idiots at Treyarch and Activision actually make a great game for pup stomping. And I believe Hardcore, in its pup, -pup in its pup stomping aspect, will be a great game mode for game game plays and pup stomping, as it was in this game. If it's not, then fellas, that's it for COD. COD has failed. COD has been failing since like the past four years. But I guess you can actually add Warzone as the underlying factor. Not the underlying factor, but the, uh, what does that word go? You can include Warzone and Blackout and some Black Ops 4 multiplayer aspects as the under, as the, uh, what's it called? Let's just call them as the better aspects of the worst cause. That makes any sense. Warzone's good. Blackout was great. Black Ops 4 was decent for pub stomping, but it really wasn't all that great still. But fellas, if Black Ops 5 is great, Hardcore Dom can be amazing in that. Think about it. If there's a VSAT, no skill-based matchmaking, perfect C4, rerollable streaks, and score streaks, the game can be amazing. I'm certain, fellas, if all of that is in the game, and spawn trapping is in the game, as, Black Ops, as it was in Black Ops 2, and there's no spawn protection at all, Hardcore in that can be absolutely beautiful. If it's not, then the gameplay as you see right here, right now, will, will never be... You will never see gameplays like this again. That's just the sad truth. You will never see gameplays like this anymore. It will simply become a relic of the past. But fellas, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this, fellas, just wait till the other gameplays I, have to, I actually have to upload. Yes, they are gun streaks, but still, fellas. And they are new too, but still, they are, are they are good examples of what Black Ops 2 still is and what it can be, or what it could have been back in the day. When I mean back in the day, I mean 2016, 2017, 2018. If the game actually stayed on its legs, and if people still played it. Anyways, boys, it's been Morezzi. Have a great day as always, and peace.